Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about fuzzy composition. Fuzzy composition is also known as max spin. Let's start. Suppose R is a fuzzy relation on X cross Y and S is a fuzzy relation on Y cross Z. Then T that is a fuzzy composition. It is a fuzzy relation on X cross Z. It is represented by mu T of X comma Z equal to for all y is an element of y, mu r of x comma y, composition of mu s of x comma z. That is, T is a fuzzy composition that is a cross product of r and s. Let's see an example. Here r is a fuzzy set and s is another fuzzy set. These are the elements of first set and these are the elements of the second set. So we need to find the fuzzy composition among r crosses so here we know the equation so when applying this equation mu t of x1 comma z1 that is equal to x1 denote the first row and z1 denote the first column of the second set so maximum of min of 0.5 comma 0.5 that is equal to minimum of 0.5 comma 0.9 comma minimum of 0.3 comma 0.2 here minimum of 0.5 and 0.9 it is equal to 0.5 and minimum of 0.3 comma 0.2 0.2 is the minimum value then we will take the maximum of these two values 0.5 comma 0.2 here maximum value is 0.5 so mu t of x1 comma z1 equal to 0.5 then we will calculate mu t of x1 comma z2 so here x1 is the first row and z2 is the second column. Again we will calculate maximum values. Max of min of 0.5 comma 0.5. Then minimum of 0.3 comma 0.6. Here minimum of 0.5 comma 0.5. Here two values are equal. So minimum of these two values equal to 0.5. Minimum of 0.3 and 0.6. Among these two values, 0.3 is the minimum value. Then we will take the maximum of these two values. Max of 0.5 comma 0.3 equal to 0.5. Again, we will calculate uh, mu t of x1 comma z2. That is the first row and third column. That is equal to max of minimum of 0.5 comma 0 0.9, 0 0.1. Minimum of 0.3 comma 0.3. It will be equal to maximum of 0.1 comma 0.3. That is equal to 0.3. Next, we will calculate for second row elements. That is mu t of x2 comma z1. That is equal to mu t of x2. This is the second row element. And for z1, this is the first column element. That is equal to max of minimum of 0.9 comma 0.9. Minimum of 0.8 comma 0.2. Here, Minimum of 0.9 comma 0.9 that is equal to 0.9. Minimum of 0.8 comma 0.2 that is equal to 0.2. Then we will take max of these two values. It is equal to 0.9. Similarly, we will find mu t of x2 comma z2 that is equal to second row and second column elements. That is equal to max of min of 0.9 comma 0.5 equal to minimum uh, comma minimum of 0.8 comma 0.6 that is equal to max of minimum of 0 0.9 0 0.5 0 0.5 minimum of 0 0.8 0 0.6 that is equal to 0 0.6 therefore mu t of x2 comma z2 equal to 0 0.6 similarly mu t of x2 comma z3 equal to max of minimum of 0 0.9 0 0.1 minimum of 0 0.8 0 0.3 so maximum of 0 0.1 and 0 0.3 among these two values 0 0.3 is the maximum value Therefore, mu t of x2 comma z3 equal to 0.3. We will calculate all the matrix value that is equal to mu t of x1 comma z1 equal to 0.5, mu t of x1 comma z2 equal to 0.5, mu t of x1 comma z3 equal to 0.3, mu t of x2 comma z1 equal to 0.9, mu t of x2 comma z2 equal to 0.6, mu t of x2 comma z3 equal to 0.3. Finally, we will represent these two values in a matrix form. That is the final relation T equal to um, composition relation T equal to R composition of S. That is equal to 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.3. That is X1 is at one value equals to 0 0.5. X2 is at 2, 0 0.5. 
x1 is at 3, point 3, x2 is at 1, point 9, x2 is at 2, point 6, and x2 is at 3, point 3. Thank you. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Please like and share my videos.